Hello, everybody. Uh, we're here playing Streets of Rogue again. Uh, contrary to what I said before, um, I'm just having too much fun with this game. Um, I don't know if you can see it there in the bottom left corner. Um, we're up to Alpha 21. Um, this was a big release that hit a couple days ago from, from when I'm recording this. Um, basically they just balance it out a lot. They changed the way some of the characters play, buffed a few of them, nerfed a few of them, added some new items including ones that I'm not super happy about, and uh, if we run into them we'll, we'll do something about it. Um, I'm also going to let you know in advance, uh, breaking a couple cardinal rules here, I'm sorry it is way too hot today. I've got the AC going and I am uh, drinking some uh, hot coffee, which you will hear in just a second. Ah, yeah, that's that's good stuff. So just deal with that. But you know what? We're we're rogues. We're we're streets of rogues. Uh, we don't need rules. Um, so I'm going to show you real quick. Um, I've gotten all these. I've gotten all the traits. We now have 50 chicken nuggets to do whatever we want with which is really awesome and uh, we're gonna buy a cyanide pill oh, I also found out you can only bring one thing in at a time which kinda sucks cuz I have enough money to get all this I guess they don't want you to be too OP um, but the cyanide pill is one of the uh, one of my favorite items and we will probably um, yeah we'll do a jock today jocks very good um, I was reading the message boards after they updated it, and a lot of people were like, Oh, I don't like the jock. He's too hard to play as. Um, number one, he does insane amounts of damage. Number two, he has a lot of health. Like, you can't use computers is pretty much what it comes down to with him. Um, and he's he's loud all the time, meaning that you can't really stealth through things. But who cares? I mean, here's his special. That is literally the best thing ever. And look at that. I'm just knocking people through walls, not even trying. I love this character. Um, a lot of people are like, oh, well, the vampire's a bit... I hate the vampire. I'll play as him, but frankly, I think he's crap. Um, he, here's here's why I don't, I don't like the vampire. He's fun. He's a good character. Um, they also made it so that he heals more. Um, you just take less health from each person, so you you daze them instead of killing them outright. But what I don't like about him is the fact that you get a lot of food in this game. Um, there's not many runs where you don't end up burdened down with so much food that you could honestly sell a lot of it and be fine. Um, whereas the vampire can't do anything with it. Um, you know... I mean, it's it's. I guess it just comes down to play style. Uh, you've watched me enough at this game that you see I literally just want to destroy everything. It's it's so fun. It's yeah, like uh, you know that's what people are complaining about. He stuns himself and takes four damage. Well, yeah, but he has 140 health. Um, I don't know. That that's not what I was going to talk about. I was going to talk about the fact that, uh, like I said. Um, there may be a little bit more noise than usual in the background. Um, and yes, I recognize that's a, a little bit of an issue. Uh, especially on some of my videos. Um, but here's what I'm going to say about that. Um, you know, uh, I do have a day job. Um, it is a very demanding one. Um, I am a retail manager, so I am not home very much. Um, number two... I'm doing this in what limited free time I have, and I'm not really doing it trying to make a go at a new career. Um, I genuinely have fun doing this. I, I like talking to people. I like sharing my stories. I like playing games. And YouTube gaming in general has, uh, has helped me through a lot of tough times. And, you know, if somebody watches this and is entertained and it perks them up or... I say something that inspires them, that to me is a win, and that's really my only goal. I started doing this uh, 
basically just as a way because I'm far away from my family that they can they like my sense of humor and they can watch it whenever they want now uh, oh I didn't even realize uh, Jesus I, uh, I was like where did this jaw come from I literally just picked loneliness killer um, I'm not paying attention right now hopefully it doesn't lead to an early loss uh, but yeah like I was saying you know I'm not trying to uh, make masterpieces here. I just, I just want, uh, want to entertain and be entertained. And I've said it before. I think it was in the Nick Fury episode. Um, you know what? In general, no matter what you're doing, as long as you're enjoying it and you're not hurting anyone else, go for it. Uh, who, ca who cares what other people think? And if you do things with that intent people who recognize that and who agree with that and who like partaking in a fun experience with with other people um, they'll recognize it and they'll enjoy it and you know that to me is worth a lot so enough ranting let's let's get down to the brass tacks of this game here um, here's one of the new item oh Jesus here's one of the new items food it's like food but worse so this is what they did they added food as an item it's an incredibly common drop now so you don't get a lot of ham sandwiches or like 30 bananas you tend to get a lot of food now um, also there's an item called the food processor which I don't believe I've had on camera and what it does it turns anything in your inventory into food and I used to love it um, turn rocks and it was random just something that was already in your inventory like this translator and these rocks I mean I could get like two cheeseburgers out of that and be uh, balling out of control as far as food goes it doesn't do that anymore what it does now is it only gives you food the FUD food um, so it's kinda garbage I tend not to use it anymore especially because it's worth a pretty decent amount selling it Okay, this guy's pissing me off. Um, oh, that's the other thing they did. Uh, so cops will now... Uh, if they... They will ignore you to a certain extent, like even if you bribe them. I mean, well, if you bribe them, I should say. But if they see you attacking anybody, they all will gang up on you and not stop. Um, and if they see someone else attacking you, they will aggro on him a lot harder than they used to. Kind of a give and take on that one. Um, that's one of the changes I'm not too upset about. Um, it adds a little bit of a challenge. Um, I know I don't <laughs> tend to win a lot of the games I show, I show on camera because I'm, you know, talking and incredibly distracted. Uh, but I do win a lot of them in my personal time. Um, humble brag, right? Uh, Oh, and rocks do damage now, which is probably one of my favorite things ever. Because if you see I'm always throwing rocks at people just because I have nothing left in my inventory, uh, now they actually do something. And my god, I wish they would do an achievement for killing someone with a rock or unlocking a new character like Rockman or something. I don't know. Mm. Need some more coffee. Um, it's it's so fun. I will now not sell rocks just just to do that. Uh, so like I said, you know this game's in alpha. This is alpha twenty one. Um, the developer was saying something about uh, the beta, you know, being on its way. Um, I'm pretty excited about that. Anyways, uh, pretty excited about that. Um, it should the beta. When it does come out, whoa, oh, about to lose my battery life here. Sorry about that. Um, it's supposed to have like the third floor. Um, and he was saying something on the forums about uh, adding like more l stages, or I, I wasn't too clear on it. You gotta remember, I do a lot of this after work, and uh, frankly, <laughs> the, I, I often don't know what I'm doing at that point. Um, but I am in a good mood today. Uh, the inventory we mentioned in maybe the previous episode, uh, it's done now. 
Uh, it went well. Uh, that's a lot of stress off my shoulders. Uh, hopefully it'll let us focus a little bit more on, on these games and uh, give me some free time to post a little bit more. Uh, or at least get a backlog going. Uh, just have not been able to do that. Um, like I said, this is more my own amusement than anything else. And it's one of those things where I just want people to come along for the ride. Um, to me, gaming is really an experience. Um, it doesn't mean that games have to be immersive. I'm not really in that camp like, oh, this game's not immersive enough. It's not, you know, to me it's about the experience that the game is giving you and sharing that with other people. Um, like I said, we, we can talk about that some other time. Let's let's try and focus on this game, try and get an entertaining win, try and get some good play. Uh, get this cop out of here. I may have to kill him. Nope. Uh, I forgot what I was talking about. So, the jock, um, good character. I have a good feeling about this. I think we might be able to win. Um, speaking of winning, uh, the apparently, I was looking up uh, the forums while reading about the updates the other day and it turns out you can kill the robot in the disaster when he shows up in a disaster uh, apparently you can steal his ammo from the rocket launcher and he can literally not hurt you or uh, one guy said he just beat him to death with a gorilla which I will have to try at some point um, I have not had time to really play a gorilla game um, I played it like once this whole week. Uh, we we've, we've been super busy. I have not had a lot of free time. Um, so you know, may maybe we can get some of that going on camera, because uh, that robot is a real. I don't know. I don't know. It's n it's it's annoying. It's like it's fun in a in a sense, but it's also annoying as hell. Um, so, if I get an ammo eater, I will try to save it for the robot. Uh, hopefully we can just beat him to death. And if not, you know, maybe we'll get something fun like a riot. Uh, so, I didn't mention it before, the jock starts with steroids. Um, gives you temporary strength. Lets you hit harder, I believe. Excuse me. Um, it's alright. Honestly, he doesn't really need it. I tend to just sell it if I need money. Uh, he does have some safe busters. Um, I think we got that for a mission. So ignore what I was just saying. Uh, let's go ahead and go down to the next floor. Alright, wanton destruction. Um, yeah, I tend to take modern warfare. I like health regen in any game. Uh, It's an OP power <laughs> in video games. Okay, okay, it is the robot. I don't have anything to really fight it with, though. Uh, well, we got some grenades. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to just beat our missions real quick because this robot is very tough. See if we can get him. Okay, we did. Okay. All right. Well, we put a good dent in him. Um, that's honestly more than I've ever done. Holy shit. Oh, oh, my God. Wow. Okay, this is uh, this is getting pretty out of hand. <laughs> let's let's just get the hell out of here. Another thing they added, I am not going to show it to you right now, because it is annoying. If you smash gravestones, it says you have a chance to spawn um, a, 
uh, aggressive ghost. Y yeah, that chance is like all the time. Literally every time I've done it, I've spawned an angry ghost. Which you can also apparently possess with the shapeshifter. Um, I've never tried that. Uh, literally my least favorite character to play as. I know a lot of people like the shapeshifter. Doesn't really fit my playstyle. I mean, not to say that I can't win with him, it's just my last pick, for sure. Um, in my personal time, I usually play the hacker, the jock, or the gorilla, or the scientist. I really have liked the scientist lately. Um, just the fact that you can identify all the pills, is, or not pills, all the syringes, uh, is super useful. Yeah, wow, that got out of hand. Um, especially for neutralizing people, you know? You don't have to worry about, what do I even have? Um, you can just go ahead and <laughs> put syringes in the vents, and uh, or take them if there's something good. Good God. Yes, that was another thing. The price of cyanide. <laughs> I know that's a weird thing to say. The price of cyanide has gone up since the last update. Um, it used to be $120 a pill. Uh, now, depending on what character you are, it starts at 140 I think. Oh, whoops. Uh, I just saw somebody coming after me, and uh, I panicked. Um, yeah, so it, uh, uh, a lot of stuff has changed in this game, but again, not a bad thing. Um, some of it was necessary, I think. Uh, some of it was kind of BS, and I wish they hadn't, but uh, just the fact that they buffed the werewolf so much uh, might actually make him playable. Uh, personally, I thought he was uh, kind of garbage. Like, he's fun, but what he does is uh, he transforms into a werewolf for like 15 seconds, and then you're dizzy when it's all over. Uh, and when you're dizzy, you can't do anything. You can't move, you can't punch, you can't eat. Um, and if you don't find a place to hide, you're essentially a sitting duck for all the people that you have pissed off as the werewolf. So, you know. Yeah, you can see Modern Warfare working for us already. Uh, let's go ahead and silence the pistol. We'll be, we'll be like Hitman. Uh, even though silence pistols or guns of any type are still unbelievably loud in real life but you know game logic right uh, so there's no vent in here so I'm gonna show you something yeah let's have all the jocks attack that goon if nothing else they will waste their bullets on him which they did because I'm almost dead Oh god. Okay. That woo jeez. Okay, let's uh let's calm down. Let's not panic. We have to find some food. Uh that should be a bartender. Let's go uh let's go see what he has to no. Let's go see what he has to do. Alright. There we go. Now we're a little tipsy. Uh, you know what? Let's just do this. We're now King Jock, the mightiest of all, of all Jocks. And we're going to go ahead and just stomp through everything. Okay. Okay, let's not kill ourselves. It's hard to see what I'm hitting. Okay, we got some food. Got some knives. We got another banana. Alright, that was exciting. Let's, uh... Okay. Wow. Um... Oh, okay. That, that was the key to that door. Dear. And our next mission 
is to retreat. Oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. Well, we may as well finish the job now. Okay, good. We uh, leveled up, we got an axe, we got our hard hat replaced a little bit. Um, hmm. This is going to be tough. Is there a vent in here? There is. Okay, so if I haven't shown you already, let's go ahead and cyanide the living hell out of these guys. So insert an item. Now, the reason you want to save these, if you get a water gun, you can put the cyanide in there. Excuse me. You can put the cyanide in there, and you have a one-hit kill gun, and it's amazing. Uh, so once that clears out, we'll go in there and reap the spoils of war. <sighs> Except for this guy. There we go. He managed to uh, somehow escape it. Got a ham sandwich. Got a uh, safe combination. Got the key. Got that. Got some boxes. So this box is uh, of course a play on the Metal Gear games uh, where you hide in a box and no one can see you. Um, yeah, as an item it doesn't work. I don't know if it's a bug or what, but even if I'm hiding and then hide in a box, uh, so far people who have are chasing me can still find me. Um, I don't know if I'm using it wrong or, or what. Um, <clears throat> Excuse me. All right. So, we've got full health, a little bit of armor, probably enough money to reload our guns. Yep. Okay, so this one's going to be a little tough. Uh, he is heavily guarded. Um, you attack that guy. Okay. Well, that worked out. Accidentally killed her own jock. I thought he was dead. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't even know what the hell just happened. <laughs> uh, oh my god. Uh, that was actually kind of scary. <laughs> just walking around and... Uh, oh, you know what? We chased off one of the... Uh, yeah, that guy. He got too far away from his slaves. Um, let's Let's just go ahead and get away from them. They have, uh, they have collars on that explode. There we go. Now they're free. Whew. Alrighty. Retrieve item. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and bribe a cop real quick. And... Hmm... Let's do this. There we go. That should uh, that should get us the item. And that's about to go off. Yeah, that's how you do that. Oh my god, how did he live? Oh crap. Well, he is pissing everybody off, so... And see, see, now the cops are getting on them instead of me. Uh, that was one of the updates they did, and I really enjoy it. There we go. That worked out. And somehow the drug dealer lived, too. Uh, that's a pretty, uh, pretty, pretty shitty time bomb. Oh my god, come on. Where's my axe? Oh, we got a shrink ray somehow. Uh, I'll show that to you in just a second here. So the shrink ray lets you shrink people. They do less damage, and if I can catch up to them... Yeah, yeah, see how that guy just stomped on him? Yeah, so the shrink ray makes people tiny, and you can crush them. 
uh, the exact opposite of the giantizer in a way. Uh, they both do the same thing. You're just stomping on people. Okay. That was uh, that was weird. Let's go ahead and do this. Let's go ahead and use a safe buster. Get some money. I don't even know how we did that bad. Okay. Wait for the camera to go away. But yeah, I uh I did play yesterday um for the first time this week and uh I got I beat the game. I think it was with the jock, honestly. And, uh, I exploded at the end of level 2-3. So even though we're on Alpha 21B, um, he has not added the, um, here, I'll show you the Bigfoot thing real quick while I'm thinking about it. So that'll distract everybody. Yeah, and they'll start fighting each other too, because they're idiots. Um, nice. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, so level 3 is not out yet. Um, soon as it does come out, you can bet that I will attempt to to put something on it. Or post something on it. Uh, put something on it. That doesn't make any sense. Okay, and we're dead. So, let's just call that a day. Uh, good 20 minute run there. Uh, hopefully you're all having as good of a day as I am and if not then uh, it'll get better. Uh, you have a good one.